So Denver Public Schools facing a backlash after a decision to recruit. Well, I mean, who else? We're talking about celebrity drag performer <laughs> Dixie Crystals to be there crossing guard for the day what is this all about we'll talk about it it's very interesting in less than 10 seconds first guys if you could if yt lets you try and hit that like button for me very important also you please share the video help us get around the algorithms hit the bell subscribe or the glasses because i'm blind and as always guys if you could help donate here to the ministry help support what i do see more info in the description so on wednesday october 12th this was all a part of uh, denver's walk and roll event to school encouraging students to find an alternate way of transportation other than your regular vehicle encouraging students to use either the bus to walk to use their bike things like that and for those students that did that they would well receive special raffle tickets to where they can use prizes they could win prizes rather so look i have no issue with this they're calling it the walk and roll event okay fine all good However, things change when you enlist certain celebrities such as a drag performer by the name of Dixie Crystals to help kids with crossing the street. And all oh, the you know, the way they frame this too was just it's so fitting in regards to what's been going on as of late. I got more on that in a second. First, guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this being that I get no monetization on this channel. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me. Plus, if you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you miss a ton of content, all right? They are not going to give you guys all the notifications for when I post new content. So sign up on Patreon. Never miss an alert. You can also leave your comments there completely censorship free. You can send me direct messages. And hey, if you prefer to donate to the ministry through PayPal, you can do that as well. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So who is Dixie Crystals? Someone that had appeared on the Discovery Plus show Generation Drag, which was a show where it shows, you know, five teenagers that are working their way and trying to prepare for a drag show. Dixie was featured on that has been in the drag business for 20 years now so okay i mean this is someone that we could definitely trust right well dixie was not the only celebrity crossing guard for the day they had plenty of others as well and according to reports at least 18 schools within denver public schools had participated in the walk and roll event now i want to point this out too because they were also advertising this as pedestrian safety right pedestrian safety month and when you're talking about kids here okay young kids you got to think many young ones that walk to school or what the ages of what six seven eight years old something like that right i mean is there anybody else that you could think of that would be a better fit for the symbol of safety than a drag performer Helping these kids across the street. I mean, this just goes along with how they've been labeling these shows as of late. What? Family friendly. Family friendly. You know, it was a couple of months ago that it was a California Democrat. I forget what position they serve in, in House, Senate, some, Senate, something like that. You know, and he said later this was a joke, although I don't think this was a joke. Had proposed putting in uh, one of these draggers into every single public school just as a, as a form of entertainment or support whatever you want to call it but the bottom line is this is that more and more of these schools are incorporating the use of them so we're not that far off away now i have a clip here of uh dixie crystals uh here it's a short clip i'm going to put it in the description helping these kids cross the streets Okay, in the whole in, in the whole getup, giving the raffle tickets away and all of that. Any sane parent for any sane parent, and I know there's not that many of them anymore. Not not you guys watching me. I know there's a lot of you. They're good parents. 
I talk to you in the comment section. You're good parents. You're, you're like me. You know, you, you're not fooled by this junk, okay? But look, no sane parent would knowingly, if they knew that this was this dragger was going to be there, would let their kids cross the street with them. Bottom line, this is a joke. Even more than that, it's evil. Satan is behind it all. They promote this as good. Do not forget the Bible says that in the last days they would be calling evil good and good evil. That's what this is. Why the push to have these draggers in the schools and yes, now in the churches? Because they're there too and they're teaching your kids and they're preaching to them. If you missed the video I did about that, Please go back on the channel and watch that if you missed it. Satan knows his time is short. He must do everything that he can to take down as many as he can, to even change a generation if he can, before he spends his eternity locked in the pit. You need a supernatural faith in these last times to deal with these forces of evil that are now upon us. I'll leave it there. Again, I'll put more information here in the description. You can check out that clip as well. Hey, if you're some of the attended Denver schools, uh, Denver public schools, and, and you know you were aware or had an encounter here with the dragger, let me know down below. Um, not done just yet, though. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. That's what this is all about. If you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ in their life. I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. It's a prayer you can do in your own words but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back in your old ways. No means to turn from those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make and the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.